This is the travel bike 40 liter from the brand Nomadic. If you've had a wee look over on my YouTube channel, I have reviewed the Nomadic 15 liter Navigator Light backpack and I just wanted to kind of reiterate what I spoke about over on that review with regards to the whole Nomadic and Gomadic. So basically Nomadic and Gomadic are the same thing but due to like trading, depending on where you are in the world, uh, you'll have to order from Gomadic and some people have to order from Nomadic. So that's just something to note. I will leave links in the description for both. This backpack is priced at $289. It does weigh about 3.4 pounds, which is roughly about 1.5 kg. It's not overly lightweight in regards to a travel backpack. If that's something that you were aiming on using this bag for, then maybe you would want a lighter bag, uh, especially if you're carrying it for long periods of time. So this backpack only comes in the color black which is grand for me but I can see why some people might want you know a bit of variety but I find that with the black backpacks it is easier to kind of clean it does come in the 30 liter if you head over to the links in the description it'll be the same for grammatic it's part of like a collection so you can kind of decide whether or not this backpack is right for you or whether you prefer maybe a different style I know that nomadic and gomadic themselves are great in terms of a long lasting backpack so the outer dimensions of the backpack are 9 by 21 by 24 inches and then the large opening dimensions are 19 by 20 inches what is great i know for the price 289 dollars roughly depending on your own currency as well you might get a wee bargain but included in the price are the hip belts which I'll get into further in this video, but that is attachable, detachable as well. You get that included and you also get the laundry bag as well. The backpack is made up of water resistant tarpaulin material, compost of 90% polyester and 10% nylon. The zippers are standard YKK zippers. The bike is also vegan made with 100% synthetic materials. It's not a personal item backpack so you wouldn't be able to fit it in the seat in front of you uh, on a flight. I was debating between this and the tropical, Tropic Feel Hive backpack um, and I had to go with the Tropic Feel because I didn't pay for a uh, carry on like to put in the overhead locker you can absolutely do that with this bike but it won't fit in the seat in front of you again depending on your airline where you are in the world who you're flying with um if you have to pay extra for a personal item or something to be stored in the overhead locker the real difference between the 30l and the 40l is that the 30l has kind of like a water resistant shoe compartment flap thing that offers ventilation whereas this backpack has the laundry bag um, to substitute I guess that part of the 30 liters and this is the laundry bag that comes with the actual backpack as well as the hip belt as mentioned it is great because it does fit well into the bag so you can place you know your dirty laundry in there or even like shoes you can make great use of it there is a lot to unpack with this backpack so let's get started it does hold its shape like packed or unpacked um which is nice it has this sleek kind of material it is jet black so when i first looked at it i couldn't see all the features within the bag which was kind of great in terms of like that anti-theft side of things but there is quite a lot of features which can be a pro and can be a con depending on your preference. It is a duffel backpack so it can be transformed to your preference. You can have it in the briefcase kind of style mode where basically this all closes up and you are left with the handles that kind of be torn in and then these straps come in together and it kind of activates like this I there's no reason for me to activate it like that and I have it if I'm being completely honest um I have been wearing it as a backpack find it more comfortable 
it is great though to have like so that you can maneuver it about so that feature is there if you want it they say that you can pack this up to about three to seven days um, you could definitely use this as your main travel backpack if you were traveling further around the world a couple of months. You would just have to be smart with your packing um, because if you're like myself who likes to overpack then you're not going to get away with that. Obviously if you are, you know, traveling a bit further around the world and you are limited in your packing then you can definitely fit a lot into this backpack. When I was traveling back in, um, when was it? I don't even, couldn't even tell you the date, but it was a while ago. And I had a backpack that was more in length than it was in width. I really probably would have preferred something like this um, because this whole new like clamshell opening style is quite new to me. Whereas I was used to do, you know, like the top loading. So you would literally have to fire all your stuff out while you're in like a hostel and go and dig for your clothes whereas this is perfect because you open it up and then all your belongings are there which is nice in terms of keeping it um well intact and organized so throughout the bag more so here on the bottom and the front so this is the front of the bag yes it does hold a shape, but it is quite crinkly looking. I do like this ballistic nylon throughout the bag. I feel like it adds just a bit of differentiation in throughout the bag because it is so jet black that it just kind of separates the two colors. So throughout the bag, you do have lovely zips. It is PU coating around the zips, which is great and stopping anything from seeping in. I know we said that they were YKK zippers, but I don't feel like they are. So someone's lying and it's probably me. Whatever they are, they're doing the job. So can't complain. Cleaning this bag is quite simple. It is that water resistant texture material. So it's great in terms of just wiping down the bag. And especially like if you want to use this as a gym bag, you absolutely can. And if you have chalk or anything like that, it will just wipe off easily. They recommend that you use like a damp cloth. Should there be further like indent stains, then maybe a bit of soap, but let it dry naturally. Don't be shoving this in the aisle washing machine. This is that seatbelt material too. I think this is the bottom of the bag, so you don't really see it, but there is a handle here. And um, so you have that handle that transforms it into duffel pack mode. And then you have this one. Now this is definitely more rigid, thicker, uh intense there is no like softness to it there is underneath but at the top here it's just like that that strong hard material but in terms of you know if you want to hang it up for your NOE hostel you're like thinking oh, that's a good wee idea here you can just hang it up from that and again with all the handles you can maneuver it there is options and ways especially if you're traveling with the bag then it's perfect for that. so the top of the backpack let's start there hopefully you can see so you've got this one here they're all top grabbing they're all horizontal zips this wee pocket um runs deep and inside is again like this tent coated material so it's very water resistant anything that's in there spilled you can just fling out the water if you want and um, that runs deep enough so pack what you want in there and then the one in front of it is also top loading um and then you do have this access material from the first pocket but it's brand gives it that character travel character and this is a great pocket um slightly different material from the other but a lot of space so you have room here if you want to i right, here's the thing is it this one or this one one of them they use for a water bottle, I'm assuming it's this one. Uh, they put their water bottle compartments at the top. So there is not on the side, which it's a no-go for me. I love having a water bottle on the side. And now that I drink from my Super Sparrow a lot, uh, it's quite handy having them on the side rather than on the top, but it's there. I mean, you can put it in either or. I reckon it's probably this one with that more water resistant material. And then you have this micro fleece material here within this pocket so this is the pocket closest to the handle 
and you can place like delegates in there like such as your phone and um, sunglasses anything like that it's not anti-theft I mean you absolutely could if you wanted to tie these two together with a padlock but this one's kind of just left open so just be aware of what you're putting in there if you are traveling and where uh, there might be a bit of risk just note that on this fleece material as well it does have a cord pass through which leads into the main compartment of the backpack so if you wanted to put in your wee leads and a wee charging pack what are they called what are they called what are they called Power bank. This is also great if you are putting it in the overhead bin and whatever you want access to first, which I'll get into in a minute because the main compartment you have to open it and as you've seen it just kind of flaps open so everything's kind of exposed whereas if you put what you kind of want quick or first such as snacks, priority chargers or your Nintendo whatever you might have that you want quick access to then you can put it here and it's quite easy to get to if you place it right in the overhead Bit. Now the back is the darting fall for me 100%. Um, just in regards to traveling and if I'm thinking about long hot days, this is an no-go. Imagine this material. It's not leather but it's like that leather like sticky yucky material and on a hot day if that was to leather to your back you, you would definitely notice and there is no like airflow there's no panels, there's no back support, there isn't anything like that that would make it great for those long hours like I'm thinking about Thailand or you know going through Bangkok and the sweat is lashing off you you don't want a backpack like this yes it's all gonna run down but you are gonna be so sweaty I can see why because this is your main entrance to all your belongings in there um, maybe they didn't want to make it too heavy. I don't really know. There is the kind of air ventilation and padding on the shoulders here, which is grand. They're very rigid. It's not overly comfortable. Like it's grand. I don't really like this whole gap here. Because again, if you think about it, having it on your skin, that's going to irritate me. The fact that there is that that the padding doesn't like run to the actual freaking start or finish of the bag so you're left with this gap that's gonna rub onto you um when you have like jumpers and stuff on you don't even notice it so you know, I mean 90% of my life is in cold weather but if there was that like, 10% then I was wearing this out in a hot day um this would definitely irritate me for the price like the whole back system straps it's just like there could have been there could have been more done but it also is grand depending on the environment that you want to be using it so for me day-to-day -day life in the colder weather that I'm in absolutely grand do you know what I would have loved to have seen you know the way was it Tortuga's travel backpack where and quite frankly most of them if they're a, um, a good enough uh, backpack that for support and things like that I guess if you don't have the support in the back then there's no point even doing this but basically having those straps that you can pull in at the top as well as pulling down then you have this uh adjustable movable sternum strap again quite like the 15 liter navigator light just overall matic i feel like for the price you need to kind of up your your hardware here i love like all this this is like oh premium but then you get to this and this is like plastic these are great these are attached by this um, gatekeeper kind of lock, which goes around the end of the bag and it sits nicely. Just in terms of the overall nomadic style, I think for the price range, they could have just upped the hardware of the bag. I feel like they could have done a lot more with that. I would recommend then because of the lack of padding on the back of the bag to get your support when this backpack is fully packed you would probably need to wear the hip belt and the sternum strap i would definitely recommend that just to distribute that weight especially when you're not getting any sort of padding on that back so moving on to the inside of the bag i'm sure you have seen that it just kind of opens so it opens nomadic do their own packing cubes which would be great you could fit a lot in here and um, again with the material there is a lot going on um 
So just bear that in mind that there is plenty of space for you to pack up. I reckon you could get quite a lot in there in terms of packing cubes. If you use packing cubes then you're golden. Then you do here have your laptop compartment. It is that micro fleece material which is great. It fits up to about a 16 inch and they reference like a MacBook. My 11 inch fits perfectly in there and it's held on by some el electric velcro material which isn't that great. I mean it's not that sticky. Uh, in front of it is the kind of compartment for added tech accessories if you want to put like a tablet or books or anything that you really want in there. It is there. It's not overly padded. I would hope for more pad in here if there is lack of it on the back so just be aware of that your drop kind of base of this bag is sort of supported but it's not cushioned and um, so when you are placing this bike down I would definitely be aware of that lack of cushion at the bottom of the bag. Now for the final features of the bag we have oh look at that here's me saying it holds a chip look at it have this pass through for your luggage, right? It's just, it's just not right. But love this tech accessory pocket. So it kind of opens up like your wee laptop compartment in front of a suitcase. Um, it sits nicely, it doesn't flap down, so it's just opened. And then you have all these wee additional pockets. You have the RFID safe pockets, so you can place in your IDs. Um, so none of that can be scanned, which is great. And then you have another pocket here, which runs down deep enough. And then you have a couple of mesh pockets and well as those micro fleece pockets. So any delegates and things like that, you can place in there. It's got a lot, but it's not overwhelmed. I like this about this bag. Um, I feel like it's neatly done. It's not messy in its organization and it's just placed well together and it brings life to the bag. I feel that it sets the bag apart and it is a great additional feature. And then on to the other side, you have two pockets. This one runs longer than this one. This is the smaller one. And um, it's just emptiness. There is no organization in there. It's just space for whatever you might want to throw in there last minute or if you are well organized then i'm sure you'll find something to place in these lovely new pockets it is a clean sleek minimalist backpack um i would have loved to have seen it more adventurous style but i feel like it probably would have got lost in all of the added material that is just flinging about on the bike but i would have loved to maybe have like some sort of external thing maybe here maybe to place your tripod or a water bottle or I don't know, my hat, my headphones, something where I can externally place something that I feel like would have went well with this bag, but hey ho, it doesn't have that sort of one to I do think it is a great backpack for different environments depending on what you want to use it for. So for the hotter weathers, it's just not great for air ventilation. It is that sticky material, you are going to sweat, so you kind of have to be aware of whether you want this type of backpack for those adventures. If it's for like the colder weather, then absolutely. This is a great backpack because it has lots of different features. It has a lot going for it. It is well organized and also it has enough space for you to adapt it. And um, it is quite big and bulky. You can go for the 30 liters if you want to size down in it and it still has amazing features as well. If you do happen to have a wee gander and you're thinking, oh, I love a wee, we look at this bag then um, I have left the links for Nomadic and Gomadic in the description. I have also left the written review if you would prefer to go and read that. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next review.